Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to round eight of Battle of the Sexes here in Gibraltar. Jib Chess 2022, we're live from the Garrison Library and I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by His Worship, the Mayor of Gibraltar, Christian Santos. Thank you, Christian, for coming. At all, thanks for having me. It's um, fantastic to be here. I, you know, you're, you're wearing that. I was thinking about wearing one of those. So, <laughs> well, but, you, <laughs> you know, decided better, a bit more casual. Yeah, for a bit more casual. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, as you know, uh, this tournament has attracted so much attention. Locally, it's in the newspaper, mm. um, local media, but around the world, 20 countries are represented yeah. here. My understanding is you're a new, ma newish mayor. Yeah, uh, I've just uh, been in office for just over six months. Six months. So how important is it f for Gibraltar at the moment to sort of, uh, you know, attract international Eyes, let's call yeah. it like that as well. The, the chess festival has always been a, a huge event here in Gibraltar. It's supported by the government, supported by the community, um, and it's one of our biggest uh, tourism-led events. And it has a huge international repercussion because we have usually over 200 players, uh, as you know, and um, it's always been a, one of the biggest competitions worldwide, very respected, and it's great for us to be able to host it. We are living in a time uh, at the moment where, you know, with the COVID, et cetera, sure. you know, the C word. Um, but it's fantastic that we can still host events like this. It's, it's not only important for Gibraltar, but for the whole chess fraternity. Yes. Because what, what you say with, with organizing an event like this, which is a bit smaller, but it's still happening, it's current, and, and it's um, still got all international eyes on it, because there are many events that are not able to happen. So it's important for us to be able to host this, for the world to see what we've got to offer here in Gibraltar. And what's fantastic about this event is not only the, the, the subject matter of Battle of the Sexes, but also the fact that we can showcase our heritage sites. And that is something that we in Gibraltar are very proud of. We have a long history, we're a small but very mighty nation with a, a, a huge history, not are the buildings where this is held is yeah is I mean stunning. we had we had the director Jen Jennifer Ballantyne yes. Saria, she she came in here and talked to us about just the, how important this yeah. this building is and the, yes, the, the history yeah. and heritage here and you're absolutely right and the prize giving is actually at the city hall at the mayor's parlor which is another fantastic right, okay. venue and and you've never been there too. actually well I'm you'll see it on Thursday. okay brilliant excellent <laughs> now let's talk a bit about the the format mm. um we have Battle of the Sexes, mm. and clearly, you know, it's a very special format and unique to our game or our sport, because naturally, in other sports, it's a bit more difficult to organize. Mm. Um, how, do you, how do you see it as a, as a concept and perhaps in line with what you're trying to achieve also as, as mayor uh, okay. in other projects related to... My, my time in, in office, I've dedicated to celebrate the diversity and inclusivity within our our community here yes. in Gibraltar. And I think it's something that we are um, not only proud of, but we work towards having that equality and equity between you know, different people with different backgrounds. Now, the good thing about chess is that it's the one sport that you can actually have an even playing field right. um, between the sexes, but also people from different economic backgrounds. Right. It's, it's one of those uh, sports that you can, you can have a fair chance no matter who you are and i know that women in any type of sport are always trailing along unless it's, it's specifically female sports and it's fantastic to put men and women on an even playing field and it doesn't matter who will win at the end on thursday because as long as we've seen that the competition is fair and it's worked to, whether the males or the females win it will just prove that both sexes can work together and uh, compete together Absolutely, and, and as things stand, I mean, the, the competition is as tight as you like. There's only mm. four points separating after seven rounds, four, mm. get four points. There are still, on paper, 30 games, so yeah. that's 30 points up for grabs. So it's anybody's And on uh, Saturday, the girls are winning. Well, by a yeah. point, I think, and I now mean, the, the, the guys are. I mean, it's gone <laughs> back. It's been a roller coaster. Sometimes, yeah, the girls were winning, and then in some rounds, they have a huge advantage, yeah. and it's been, it's been great entertainment. Yeah. Um, so we can't complain about that. And are you, just out of interest, are you a chess player at all? Do you ever pick up the, pick I, up the pieces? I don't. And I okay. discussed this the other day okay. when, I would, uh, when I met some, and I, I've just uh, did so now. It's the type of game I would love to mm. have um, 
the ability or the, the, the predisposition, mm -hmm. because I'm not the type of person <laughs> who can sit at a table. And I envy <laughs> it. I watch people play. Like, I just went into that room, yeah. and I started the, 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 the game between the two grandmasters yeah. that, that I'm um, so privileged <laughs> to have done. And I see the type of, of, of person and the energy that's in that room, and I think, my, my head is always, you know, I, I wish I could. Um, but I haven't actually ventured into it. But could surprise myself. Yeah, you never know. I mean, what I would hope is that, because I know there's a grassroots community here in Gibraltar promoting mm. chess, and yeah. there was chess in schools. And mm. one day, I tell you this, I've said this already on stream, but you've got the Gibraltar football team. Mm. You've got, I think, probably hockey as well. Yeah, we're good at hockey as well. Uh, you Basketball. Might, rugby do you have as well? We have rugby. Have rugby. We kind of have all the, all the sports. I'm, when's the chess team? That's what I want to know. The that's the next project. Um, I want to see them represented. Yes, yeah, the and Olympiad. I think it should go back into schools. There was a bit before, because you know, at the moment we're in a pre-COVID, sure. post-COVID time, yeah. there was a big campaign to get uh, the schools involved, and that's there was right. quite a lot of, of students, yeah. and, um, and now I think we need to get that back. Hopefully when things yeah. get back to normal, we can yeah. start doing that. Well, look, I mean, I just want to say, I've, I've said this as well to uh, all of our uh, esteemed guests, thank you for the support, continue support, you and the, uh, the government and, and, and local authorities, because it does mean a lot for us to be able to host a tournament. I'm a, I'm a chess player, chess mm. fan, and I know that everybody in this community, millions of people, yeah. have got their eyes on this tournament, so thank you for... Uh, all. for all you do and thank um, you for being here no, it's fantastic it's, it's, it's an honor great. for us to be able to host uh, this event here thank and you so, so many much. people so many eyes on Gibraltar the games and how we do things and fantastic to welcome anyone and I invite anyone actually to come to Gibraltar see what we've got to offer and, and especially you should have come today because it's gorgeous outside today sunny it was <laughs> raining for a week today I couldn't I, this was the Gibraltar I remember you go and have a coffee outside gorgeous weather yeah I su sincerely recommend it so come to visit Gibraltar if you can thank you so much thank for, you for, for coming me. and uh, we'll get to the games in just a moment we'll go for a short break and see how the action is developing in round eight see you soon Thank you.